he's like, wow, that's impressive. You did that with your hands. I could have cut that out with my laser in four minutes. And I was like, hmm, oh, what? <laughs> You're like, I'm listening. That took me <laughs> seven hours, my guy. Like, are you kidding me? How much did you charge for that? Oh my gosh, it was ridiculous. So and welcome back to the Riley Black Project. Crystal and John. Hey. Hey. Hi. It's a week. <laughs> it's, and it's only a, Monday it's for Monday. us. It's <laughs> It's already a week. We're screwed. No, no, no. They are. If you pay who for, are? For the, the people who paid for the no, LED. No, stop. Cord. Don't tell me that right now. You're stressing me out. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll get it done. Yes. Mo module one is done. Yes, module one is done. Yeah, module yeah, two yeah. will Stay to, hey, we gotta save look something like for life something. update. That's true. Yeah. Oh. This episode is brought to you by Katie <laughs> Monarch Pine. Wait, okay. did you see the post? No. You I told you about the post the that post. Catherine did. She shared oh, one of Katie's yeah. posts yeah. and she was like, Look at this post that I saw from Katie with Monarch Pine. She's like, Did you hear that in Crystal's voice? Because <laughs> I say it every single episode now. So yeah. Katie with Monarch Pine, That's she right. gave everybody um, 10 percent off with code Riley Black on her Etsy, monarchpine.etsy.com. Yep. And um, I don't see a piece of paper over there on that side, so that means you don't have the names ready. And I just <gasps> thought about it. I know. I just thought about it. I just thought about it. It's the first of the month. It's the beginning of the first month. First of the month. Yeah. Well, no, no, don't look over there. We got rid of it when we were shooting the whole course Shit, stuff. when we were cleaning. Yep, yep. This so it's is not why over you don't there. clean. <laughs> that's why she doesn't clean. Damn it. Yep. Um, okay, next but week, I guys. Will, love you. I will shout out Tom. Tom? Yeah. Why? Just because? Just because, because I know he watches. Mm, yeah. And, you, we and he talk... doesn't even really do like right, laser right. stuff. Right, and we were, talk, we were talking cool. to Liz, and she mentioned, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. Tom does watch all the yeah. time. So shout out to you, Tom. Thanks for watching. <laughs> And Liz, of course. And Liz, of course, <laughs> of course. And but but we're gonna read her name next week. Yeah, that's true. With a, and that the long really long ass, <laughs> group name because she does everything. That can't yeah. hate. I'm the same way. Yeah, I know. My introduction know. is four different companies. I, I, I know. Or... I, I I cut your thing on the the laser course. Yeah, and on LMC and all. Yeah, your whole introduction is like it's part. It's a it's a module in the course itself. Yeah, yeah. And if I if I pop in all the things, like you wouldn't see you. You should. Like, oh, it's it's kind of sad that like it's already yeah. like edited and like uploaded. Yeah. Otherwise, I would yeah, have I'll, you add that. I thought about pretty, it, but then I didn't want to pull have. all those logos. That's and true. Get them to pop, and <laughs> yeah. I was like, no. Better. That'll be in a in an update. Yeah, yeah. That'll be okay. yeah. So sign up for LEDs with RBD. Yes. And then some point in the future, just keep watching that welcome video. Well, so I just had a call with my virtual assistant before this. Uh -huh. um, and or So the there will be no life update because this is it. <laughs> Stop. Just the tentative <laughs> release date for mm. that course. So I was going to tease the life update for that. but Bleep it. So stay tuned to the life <laughs> update to hear what that date was. This show is going to be interesting yes, today. Yes, it's going to be a mess. <laughs> okay. Um, Who so we got? We got somebody. Um, somebody. Yeah. Somebody. They um, somebody? have a degree. Ooh. Ooh I want to hear know. you say this. I know. Kinesiology. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So I think she can read your mind. Like, <laughs> like Dr. No. Xavier from X-Men. No. Um, she has a piece in the University of Utah. And she's not even from the U.S. Right. Joining us from Canada. <laughs> I forget. No, I remember her name, but she's got the proper name. Oh, and her like, and if her, you know me name. You know what? We know her. Okay. So what right? is it? So should we just go with the like. Go with. but So it's Kelsey. Kelsey. Yes. A.K.A. Kells. There you go. With what company? Paulus and Co. Good job. Yeah. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you so much. You nailed that. I love it. <laughs> hey, new friend. Hey, Kels. I know, right? Hey, new friend. We're on the Kels term. Explain. We don't right. love that. We're all family here on the Riley Black Project. All right. Well, I mean, so speaking of family, I usually start with how I found people. So it's always, it's always different. It's, always it's on like. Tinder. <laughs> no, no. Funny no, story no. about Tinder. She swiped. <laughs> I do not. Although that and would be like, fun. Would you would you like to be on a guest? Do you have a <laughs> laser? Like be, would you like on the to be laser on podcast. Yeah. That's how that's that's the secret I to how we like, book guests. We the, the like a laser profile, yeah, like laser the, dating. Yeah. Um so she it's either like through a friend or like the algorithm will, you know, 
send you my way or whatever. But I'm pretty sure through her, it was on a recent girls trip that she had with mm-hmm. our friends Lauren from Barley and Oak mm-hmm. and Lizzie with the House of Timber. So, yeah. yeah. How, like, I mean, that's pretty cool. I really... The only thing close to that has been like the laser conferences and stuff, but mm. I definitely want to do a like girls trip or like a podcast. Like we talked about going to like Costa Rica with like our podcast yeah. people. Um, <clears throat> Cause like, it's we saw just that from Garrett. Yeah. Mm, kind of. I think cruise. I thought about it like before yeah. that, but definitely after their cruise. Um, but just like hanging out with people and then especially outside of the conference area because conference area, there's there's work so yeah. i want like no work you know we're gonna talk about it because it's yeah. just our life but yeah. like yeah so tell me about okay so i'm gonna tell you everything about the girl all the, trip. Okay. All the details okay so <laughs> this this girl trip to be honest was like the most amazing trip i have ever been on because it was so refreshing to be surrounded by like-minded creators, like-minded makers who literally understand what you're doing, who are there for you and show up for you. Like no things about you. I mean, again, it's the internet. You show what you want to show, but when I tell you that like forging these relationships with these people who quite honestly are like strangers on the internet Mm -hmm. and they become some of your closest confidants, it seems like such a, paradox because it's like kind of strangers but they're not like they're the farthest thing from it because they get you on a level that people in your immediate circle who you Mm -hmm. know you've grown up with who you've forged your whole life like they don't a lot of times understand yes so it's hard I find you know I'm fortunate that I have a handful of makers close to where I live Mm -hmm. but to be like immersed in that energy was the most amazing thing. And to do it for, we were there for like five days. Wow. And so awesome. when I say, yeah, we went and it was so funny. So this girl's trip, they did it, a handful of them did it last year. And I remember when it kind of came to fruition, I was sitting there like, oh my God, like I would love to right. do something like that like I would just love to be in the presence of women who were on this trip and I was like mm-hmm. low-key FOMO like totally. like I, I had I, FOMO on the first I'm pretty then, sure I remember like, the first one yeah. yes I'm like how do I get invited to this thing and that was never like my intention was like oh my god that's right. so freaking cool so anyway um even after so this was like I can't even remember if it was before or after this trip, but I want to say it was maybe before they went on the first trip last year. Um, Lauren from Barley and Oak, like somehow, I couldn't even tell you how like her and I just started Mm chit-chatting and just through like Instagram, I got to like know her, you know, um, see her business, see her growth, all these things. And she is just such a truly like wholesome person. She really is. And... I'm like, if people knew who you are and like could just be, she just has so much to give. You know what I mean? She just has like such a huge heart for everybody that she meets. She, I mean, she was there for me when um, we were struggling with my oldest son and his behavior and wondering, you know, if he was ADHD, if you, you know, if like, we never really thought autistic, but just all of those things, you know, and we just didn't know. And we, it was just really, it was really difficult and hard. And it was like weird to talk about like publicly, but then like, I talked about it with a little bit with her. Cause like, you know, little things here and there would sneak Mm -hmm. out and the people who relate will then will be like, or notice. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and then just like her fertility journey, like I'm so invested, like, you know, like we all want the baby. (laughs) So it's, yeah, it's just crazy how they become, and up until ISA, I think ISA in, what was that? February, April, April, whatever, earlier this year, I think that was the first time I actually met her in person, but like you for we forget all the time 
whether this is the first time we're meeting mm -hmm. them or not, because yeah. we're so close to them on you, the freaking internet. That you know everything you know, about them. Yeah. Totally. You're like, oh, I've met you. I know it. I'm, I don't need an update from you. I don't need to be like, hey, it's just like, oh my God, get over here and give me a hug because I, <laughs> I haven't seen you in forever. But like, no, I little P have never met you. Never before. seen you, right. I've exactly. never met you. Hey makers, are you trying to grow your laser business but struggle with things like social media, building local business relationships, setting up your website, how to charge for your products? or when to add employees to your business? Samita and Anuj Patel are passionate about helping other makers build their laser business and realize that each business owner is at a different stage in their journey. Like many of us, they started with a hobby laser at home but have since grown to a warehouse with seven lasers, a UV printer, and generate six figures in sales and ship out over 5,000 orders a year. Their one-on-one -on -one mentoring sessions are perfect for those who have questions and want answers. The hour-long session will be conducted over Zoom and will be recorded so that you have access to it after as well. No question is off the table and they will give you actionable steps to take your business to the next level. Book your mentoring call at homeboundcustom.com to start growing your business today. Welcome to the revolution in laser engraving. Introducing Lens Digital, the creators of the game-changing Pyburn Rotary Attachment. With the Pyburn 4.0, you can turn ordinary cups, tumblers, glasses, and more into extraordinary masterpieces. Looking to engrave niche items or want the functionality of a Chuck rotary? Look no further than the Pyburn Grip, Lens Digital's Chuck-style rotary. With a range of different sized jaws, you can easily engrave a wide variety of items. All Lens Digital products are compatible with most CO2 and Galvo lasers and were designed specifically for the laser industry. All that paired with the best in class customer support, Lens Digital is your one stop shop for all of your rotary needs. Transform your laser engraving game with Lens Digital, where makers succeed. Unleash your creativity today. And don't forget, we are proud Lens Digital affiliates as well. If you're shopping, code Riley Black will take $50 off any order of $600 or more. So Lauren and I start chatting, and I knew. Um, so I have followed Lizzie for since I started. So this whole business venture for me started as like a scroll saw mm -hmm. journey is yes. what it started as. And so when I first started, this was back in like 2018. So almost mm -hmm. six years ago. Um, same, same. Yeah. Like one of the first people that I found was Lizzie. Mm -hmm. And so I have like watched her growth and it's, it's such a weird thing but it's not because it's like i watched you from like <laughs> so long ago i know everything Someone about said you. That to me the other day actually they um they just signed up for one of my courses yeah. and she was like oh i had never heard of it and i was like oh crap that means i'm not doing a good job because my course has been out since 2022 oh, yeah. and she was like Oh, now that I now that you say that, I remember you from the Glowforge days, and I remember that like you like to swear and blah 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 blah. Right. And so like, and so she's like, I don't want it to sound stalkerish, but I totally remember you. But I know from, you. Like, yeah, I've yeah, so known like, you for years. I know that. That's exactly right. And so like, I've known Lizzie for so long, and I remember it was such a big deal because this is again before the days of reels. It was, mm. however, you could make your Instagram profile look aesthetically pleasing with. Like right. the photos, and there was barely any talking on your stories. That was so new. So mm -hmm. I realized when I started um, that I really loved watching Lizzie's stories. Like she mm. was just so, like she's such a free spirit, but she was yeah. so knowledgeable about sharing everything. Like there was no mm -hmm. secrets. You know what right. I mean? There was no gatekeeping, and I love that, mm -hmm. especially as a beginner, because like I didn't even know, what, yeah, like I didn't even know what a scroll saw was. Right. So for me, I was like, well, how are you making these things? Yeah. And your fun facts, you said that you had never even really like touched um, like power tools power before tools. the scroll saw, right? No, like you would not catch me <laughs> drilling a hole into anything. It was like, okay, I can and pull then, up Which is crazy because we like I want to see your first sign ever to oh. the progression of the like massive beast that you yeah. just like put out recently yeah. and I think actually that's how I found you I think Lauren or one Lauren or Lizzie or one of them yeah. shared it and I was like I don't even like those like yeah the, whatever they're called the mosaics. like I guess they're mosaics right they're, yeah. and they're gorgeous they're just not my style okay. totally. yeah and so I saw it and I was like that is bad Ass. for one it was like massive yeah and it was just really pretty and gorgeous and like even if it's not my style i can recognize when something's like quality Absolutely. work yeah. um but yeah that's what got me so the fact that like 
you know, seven years ago, Kells didn't yeah. touch power tools is crazy that like you have a whole like shop now. This is literally my business. This is my life. Um, right. yeah, I didn't touch a power tool. I, so I really, I'm going to give you a spark nose version because <laughs> it's a long story, but long story short, I had my son and he was a year old and I was like, I had graduated university. I had my degree. I was working in employment and training, but like, I realized I've always been a creative person. Like I can knit, I can crochet, I can bake, I can bead, I can mm. literally do everything. And I would always go all in on everything. That yep. was my problem. But then once I like mastered it, I was bored. So Get like, bored. Yeah. Totally. Now what? Um, so it was one of those things we were at a night market and I was with my mom and we're walking around and at this time the cricket was like the rage Mm -hmm. everybody was doing cricketed farmhouse signs everybody was doing t-shirts and mugs and that was literally like everywhere you looked somebody was selling a $90 farmhouse sign and so at the time I had the mentality of I'm going to spend a $90 on that when I can make that myself. I just need- <laughs> That's my story. Yes. I bought a silhouette because I didn't yes. want to spend $20, $30 on mm-hmm. cute little onesies for my son that I was about to have. I wanted right. the I inappropriate and funny onesies, but I didn't yeah. want to spend $30 on Etsy. So I spent $100 on a machine and... Here we are. Thanked him. I, I, right? Absolutely. I feel like that's so many people's origin stories, but it starts <laughs> with that little like, I could do that. Mm-hmm. It always does, right? So that was totally me. So I was walking around and then I got to this one vendor and they're not in business anymore. It's so sad. But I got to this one vendor and they had these like 3D signs. And I remember looking at my mom and being like, I would spend $90 on that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to do that. But I feel like there's something just that. 3D element and just so different. And so I had never heard of a laser a day in my life, never heard of a scroll saw. That was not a thing. So anyway, I was just, I took, that was the only business card I took. I took their business card. I followed them on Instagram, but again, it was just like pictures of the signs that they had done. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my gosh, like I still don't know how to do this. So I was like Googling how to make 3D signs and like nothing, the look I was going for was not popping up. So I was like, this is this is not it but I'm determined <laughs> right so it just so happened I swear the like stars aligned because the next day I opened up Facebook and there was a friend of mine that I knew like growing up and the first thing I see is this like round it was around and it mm. had like a coffee bar cut out on it mm. and I was just like gobsmacked because I'm like that's it how how did you do I do that, right? <laughs> like, tell me everything. So I read her caption and she tagged Lizzie from the House of Timber mm-hmm. and Leslie from Oak and Feather. And it was just like, basically like, thank you so much to these girls for sharing their tips and tricks for these beginners. I now have the confidence to do this. Like, da 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 right? So I go on, I swear, it was the, <laughs> like, the deep, dark rabbit hole of girl saw art, okay? Because then I was able to see, because they were already creating these signs, right? Right. So from then I was able to see like, hold on. It's not just like simple things. They're creating like nursery signs and florals and like, and again, keep in mind, this is like six years ago. So their work while it was still quality then, they have far surpassed. Oh, yeah. Now. Lizzie like, shared one of her first few signs that okay. she made the other day, and it was, like, six years ago. Yes. And, like, one, she still looks so young, but, like, she looked like a yes. literal baby. Yes. And, like, just the comparison of, like, that sign and, like, one of her recent signs. Like, it's just night and day amazing yeah. difference. And, like, yeah. The growth, and it's crazy because even then you're like, oh my gosh, I thought that was like kick ass then. Right. And now you're like, oh my gosh, like take that down. Like, who let me post that? But at the time right. you're like, look at me, like, look what I made, right? So yeah. I went on this deep dive, and then for Christmas, so this was like around Christmas time. So for Christmas, my parents were like, all right, what do you want for Christmas, right? And I was like, okay. I want to scroll saw on a cricket. And they both rolled their eyes at me because they were like, <laughs> great, like another hobby. <laughs> another for you. thing. Yeah. Literally another thing for you to do for like three months and then be like, hey, whatever. And I was like, no, it's different this time. I <laughs> promise you it's different. And again, I because I had never operated a power tool, my dad was like, 
Okay. <laughs> Mind you, he had the garage. He had the power tools. He had mm. got like literally everything that I needed, aside from a scroll saw, everything that I needed to start this business, he had. Mm, even but better. because I never had any interest in that. And I think why? Because my idea of like woodworking was very much like a male dominated yep. industry, mm-hmm. but also is very much well, I can build a birdhouse. I can build a table. Yeah. You want me to build you like yeah. totally this bench? Well, I don't want to build a bench. <laughs> right. Yeah, like in a wood shop a in high school, totally. although it was pretty fun. But I built one of those little um like you it was a duck and it had like uh like wooden wheels. Mm. Yeah. And oh, then yeah, you put yeah. leather uh-huh. in like, you know, and it, oh, and, it little, and then you like, yeah, and it like flaps, totally. you know. Yeah, yes. it was like the long stick or whatever. So that's like yeah. what I made in like wood shop. But beyond that, it I was made, all like I made speaker boxes and pipes. Right. Like but those like... kind of pipes? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you would. Started young. Hey there, podcast listeners. How great would it feel if this was the year you finally got to escape your nine to five to embrace your lifestyle of creativity and entrepreneurship? Every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern, Eon Laser USA invites you to join the Freedom to Create webinar, where you'll learn how to make this a reality. Join leading laser industry professional and brand ambassador Emily, aka That Mom with a Laser, and Eon Laser USA's sales manager, Alicia, as they dive into all things Eon. Learn about the advantages of owning an Eon laser and get the scoop on Eon's rewards and partner benefits. Plus, get a glimpse at how everyday people who started out with zero experience paid off their lasers, scaled their businesses, and transformed their lifestyles. So if you're ready for a lifestyle change, head over to eonlaser.us forward slash why us and sign up for the Freedom to Create webinar today. Thanks for listening. Laser on. Attention all laser owners and crafters. Are you tired of spending hours cutting, painting, and assembling laser products? Look no further than Crazy Laser Dad Laser Ready Blanks. Their high quality blanks are expertly sourced, tested, and ready to use with your lasers. Say goodbye to the hassle and frustration of time consuming projects and hello to more time creating and selling. Plus, with their wide selection of items, you'll surely find the perfect blank for all your customers. So what are you waiting for? Visit crazylaserdad.com today and take your laser crafting to the next level with their laser ready blanks. But it's like all those things that you think as, especially as a female right. in high school, even you're like, okay, wood shop? Absolutely not. Because yeah. I want to learn how to build a table. Now, right. if you were to ask me now, I would be the first one to be like, absolutely. Like, <laughs> let's what try table are we building? What species of wood <laughs> are we using? Like, are we rounding the edges over? What are we, like, right. I would be so invested now because I realize like the craftsmanship and not only that, but the artistry that actually goes into all of that. It's yeah. not just like gluing pieces of wood together and being like, okay, bye. Right. So I, but again, it was like that stigma that I just Mm -hmm. didn't have the understanding of it that I do now. And and it's also, I mean, kind of like there wasn't, there wasn't a Lizzie in your circle yet. You know, it takes those women in those industries to stand out, to then give that confidence or even the idea to other little girls, women, et cetera, like, oh, you can do this because when you only see men doing it, not that it's like anyone's out here saying like, you can't do it, but like, it's kind of just like subliminal to us in a way. And like, again, if men typically, especially in those kind of those industries earlier on, Mm -hmm. you know, they didn't share their process a lot. They learned it all along the way, either from their dad or a friend or whoever. And they'd be like, look at this thing I made, but you didn't see any of the process. You didn't see any of the tools they used. You didn't know any of the behind the scenes that made it like, oh, I can do that. Cause it takes you seeing the behind the scenes that it's like, oh, it's not that hard or it's not that scary or, you know it's yeah. like oh that's that's how you did that okay mm-hmm. but it's also just like planting that little seed of yep okay it, even just seeing like a female in a wood shop and doing yep. something and this is the thing i guess what i love about especially about lizzie is that she is a woodworker through and through but mm-hmm. she is more than anything like a wood 
artist. And it took me a very long time to be comfortable using those two in a yeah. sense. And to, like, I still struggle to say artist about myself because right. I just thought like, oh, I can make things. I and make sometimes things. they I mean, looks really cool. Like I didn't right. ever really consider... And then I, I sold files and they're like, oh, you're a designer. And I'm like, I mean, that's yeah, what these right. people are called that right. sell them. But like, I'm not a designer. I don't feel like that. Totally. Like, I don't feel like that. Or, you know, for the longest time, we would coin like a scroll saw artist, let's say, would be like a maker. Okay. Well, that encompasses so many things. So then right. I was like, so okay, broad. we're like a scroll saw artist. Okay. So now I'm to the point because my range has, I went from like a scroll saw person, strictly a scroll saw person mm -hmm. to, okay, I also got my laser now. So I feel like I can't just, I don't want to be phony and be like, I made this like solely with my hands. Right. I can't cut this item because no, I feel like my laser adds such a benefit to my business totally. mostly in that it frees up so much of my time. Mm -hmm. Because what would take me, okay, I'll give you an example. There was something that took me, I kid you not, it was like over 200 inner cuts. It was a piece that was probably like six and a half inches by like five inches wide. It was a little ornament thing. Oh and God. it was, it took me like seven hours to cut this thing out because I'm scroll sawing it by, you know, I'm scroll sawing, oh I'm cutting it out by hand. So, and it's all the little inners and all these things. Right. So, um, I was talking to my boyfriend's uncle and he had a laser, but this was like long before I kind of really figured out what this was. And so I was showing him my work and he was like, I feel like in the laser community, you can go so many different ways and oh, everything yeah. work is so different. So his mm -hmm. was very much like, um, he would make get files from wherever, but he mm -hmm. would make little like uh what a nativity scenes like mm. wooden little you know like yeah. little um snow globes like wooden yeah. snow globe things okay i always so, say it's like the good and bad about the laser world is that you can make anything totally but it's like it's sometimes it's really hard to stay focused because you can make everything I mean, yes. but like you can literally make like anything if you try this one thing and you don't like it there's seven million other things yeah. for you to try with the same exact tool absolutely <laughs> absolutely so he kind of he looked at it and i showed him he's like wow that's impressive you did that with your hands i could have cut that out with my laser in four minutes and i was like <sighs> oh what <laughs> you're like i'm listening that took me seven hours, my guy. Like, are you kidding me? How much did you charge for that? Oh my gosh, it was ridiculous. So it ended up going on like it must have been, it was a little bit bigger, but I remember it went on like a 12 inch round, and I want to say it charged like seven hundred dollars for it. Okay, good. good. Like it, it might have even been not have even been like, enough. <laughs> no, 100 percent because I was like, I am insane for even doing this. And this was uh, like I said, long before I really understood the laser business, like knew what it was, knew the capability, because I would just so have like tunnel vision to yeah. my scroll saw. And mm -hmm. I was like so proud of the fact that I could cut something out with my hands that a machine could do. You know right. what I mean? So it was just like I'm not a laser can do that. So can I? Yeah. Yes, it will take me a long time, but I can still do it. You know right. what I mean? So well you know, and even I mean I think one of the scroll artists that we had on they sometimes they would get like flack from the community yeah. if they cut any part of it on the laser because it was like cheating and it's like okay come no. on no okay so <laughs> i had that brief mentality for like 60 seconds and then lauren <laughs> like just gave me one of these because like, cut it out like no honey so i ended up this is kind of how like her and i ended up becoming really good friends because I went to Nashville last year for the George Strait concert. I went to Nashville in July. We'll never do that again. <laughs> I, I was going to say, that sounds pretty miserable. It was miserable. Like, Especially coming from up north. <sighs> right? I don't even feel like my ears were sweating. It was disgusting. It was like, that I will makes. never do that for a man, not even George Strait. Okay. Right. <laughs> So anyway, we will go to Nashville for a couple of days. And this is like my boyfriend and I, this is our annual, our yearly trip we do by ourselves without our mm -hmm. son. And so he was like, this is your trip. What do you want to do? And I was like, how I'll see another man. I was like, how far? yeah, right. I was like, how far was Kansas from Nashville? And I was like, well, on the map, it's like 
right here. So what do you think if we kind of just took our time, did like a little tour of the Midwest? Empty loop. Literally. Okay. So really like, and I told Lauren, and it was mostly like, these are places I'm probably never going to go. Ideally, I probably wasn't going to do this again. And so I was like, well, let's go to Kansas City. One of the things he wanted to do was go to all of the MLB stadiums. Mm. So it's like, if we go to Kansas, we can go to a Royals game and like stay overnight. And then we'll just keep on trekking. We'll like make our way to Chicago or like yeah. Michigan, wherever, right? Kind of make our way back home. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we go. And I messaged Lauren and Lizzie and I was like, hey, like I'm coming to Kansas City. Do you guys want to meet for dinner? Mm -hmm. And Lauren immediately was like, absolutely. Brad and Ryder were coming. Like, let's go here. Message. She's like, I told Lizzie, let's go. Because at this point, they had become pretty good friends, like started sharing her shop. So she's like, yep, I told Lizzie. And like, she has always been somebody that I have wholeheartedly just wanted to be in her presence. Mm -hmm. I don't know. She didn't even have to say hi to me. I just wanted to like. Right. Just, just be there. Like, be you don't be don't just speak you. to me. I just want to be. I just want to be beside you. Literally. <laughs> so like, I just have so much love for the both of them. And like, I even told Lizzie, I'm like, this is, don't take this the wrong way. But like, I hope you realize. And like, even if you don't, I just want you to know how many freaking people truly like admire you and look up to you because you are yeah. really paving the way for so many people. And right. even if you don't feel like that, like, just know yeah. that I know so many people who like, have started because of you, because yeah. you've been that example for so many people. And so I was able to like meet them both. We had dinner, literally met them for like two hours. And then I'm like, okay, hey, we got to go by. And right. so we left. But then after I was like, you know, when you finally meet those people and they are completely the same people that they are in real life, that mm -hmm. they are online, like that to me speaks volumes about right. their character. Yeah. And their authenticity. Like, mm -hmm. Absolutely. I'm like that to me is so important like I want to I want you to know that who I am are, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a lot of characters yeah. there's right. a lot of like you're this or like I see your reels or yeah. whatever and then you meet them in person and you're like oh oh see and I'm like so fortunate I have not had that experience there's because... not many there's not right. many but every once in a while or they're you know a character online and then you meet them in person and they're like even worse and you're like oh <laughs> okay oh you are extra okay. <laughs> okay that's really you 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 water it down a little bit for the okay. internet good to know <laughs> right. so like i was thinking you went a little over the top for your right. <laughs> you're like, oh no you're not oh, oh, oh so that is you huh <laughs> right so that was like my biggest thing is you know when i start so when i made the decision when i started this to show up online and i remember being like I love watching people's stories. And there was a handful of people that I love watching because I'm like, you're just such a fun, like, energetic, bubbly. Like, I just love the energy yeah. you exude. And so I just feel like you're my best friend. <laughs> Again, I've never met you. You don't even know I'm watching you every single day. But I just feel <laughs> right. like uh, we're best friends. And so when I just made the decision to start, like, showing up in my stories, and a lot of the times when I started, it was, like, my friends. I had, like, four people who would be like, oh, I watch your story, right? And then as I like kept posting every day, it was so important for me to just be like, this is who I am. Like yeah. and the people who know me, and it's because the people who actually know me in my real life, they're going to know if I'm being authentic or not. <laughs> right. like, yeah, genuine, they're going to yeah. know that I'm not like that. Right. And, you know, like my parents watch it, my siblings watch it, mm -hmm. family watches it. So I'm like, I'm just gonna show up as me and that's the best way to show up and if I'm not your cup of tea that's okay and yeah, so I totally. just doing that and, and I have found that all of the people who I have met who I like truly look up to are 100% like their true authentic self and sometimes I find it's hard to really gauge that also because a lot of the creators work by themselves mm -hmm. so you're like oh it's kind of weird because you don't have anybody to talk to like <laughs> right. i'm in my shop all day and i'm just talking to my phone but i'm uh, talking like right. i'm having a conversation with you mm -hmm. nobody's saying anything back to me not right. immediately yeah. but like we're just having a conversation and so when i actually met like these creators like one of the one of my favorite i'm going to tell you one of my favorite creators 
who I've met, and it was on a girl's trip, is Kristen from Kristen's Creations. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you know her. Okay. Yeah. But, I, I know her, I think, again, from the girl's trip is when I yeah. found about found about, out about her. Yeah. And every once in a while, her stuff will show up in my feed because I'm pretty sure I follow her. Okay. So but, yeah. she is unbelievably talented. Her paint is, like, flawless. But more than anything, I am like, you are just a riot. Like I never, um, again, online, it's one of those people who like online is just, again, you're talking to yourself. So you're kind of like, yeah, but in real life, I'm like, oh, wait, you are hilarious. You are fun to be around. Like, Mm -hmm. and so I guess for the girls trip, that was like the big thing. So because I knew Lauren, um, she was like, can I add you to this group chat? And I was like, sure, okay, this is back in the spring. And I was like, okay, sure. So there was a handful of girls already. She's like, this is group, like, girls trip 2024. Are you guys down? Like, there was a bunch of us. And so we're like, absolutely. Like, tell me when and where. Right. Um, so we go wherever. And so yeah. I was the only one from Canada. Everybody else is mm-hmm. spread all over the United States. Yeah. And so initially I was like, hey, like, why don't we come up to Muskoka? Because they kind of had um, the consensus was like, we just wanted to chill. Like we wanted yeah. to be by the lake, like access right. to the boat, just like super yeah. chill. Not do a whole bunch of things, things just like, totally. like, no, yeah, like yeah. no agenda just to be with each other and chill. And so I was like, how about we do Muskoka? Um, I can't remember like how that got, I didn't get X name, but it was just kind of like, oh, okay. Because then I realized everybody else had to like come into Canada. <laughs> right. So that was where I didn't even think of that, where it's yeah. like easier for me. I'm the only one who has right. to cross the border. Yeah. And so anyway, Ryan, the sweetest, most wholesome person, Ryan from Heart and Saw. She's also another school saw artist. Okay. She is just this Southern peach. I just <laughs> love her so much. She is suggested we go to North Carolina. And it was such a like, okay. Right. So what's in North Carolina? Right. Like, sure, I know. But what's there? <laughs> where, like, where are we going? And so we went to Oh, where did we even go? I don't even know where we went. Somewhere <laughs> in North Carolina. I just know where You're we like, went. just tell me where I got to fly into. Send me the address. I'll be there. I was like, tell me what airport. Somewhere close to Troy, but I don't think we were in Troy, North Carolina. I don't know. Maybe we were. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, go on this girl's trip. Most amazing thing of my life because it was just everybody was there. And like you said, like people were working, Mm -hmm. but it wasn't even that it was interesting to see, to be able to bounce, bounce your workflow in a way off of each other to be like, Hey, like I have this inquiry. What do you think I should charge? And this is like, literally this, I think this is my thing is people not charging their work. And oh my gosh! So... I'm, even I'm terrible mm-hmm. at it. I'll spend yeah. hours, yeah, hours and hours, you know, doing something, and yeah. then like you got to see it through, and you gave your quote, so you like you got to do yeah. it. Yeah. But at the same time, you're like, oof, I didn't charge enough for that, and yeah. or like I'm the worst at, you know, my brain tells me, oh, that will only take you this long. Yeah. Like and, mm-hmm. um, recently, I just made um, a uh, what do you call it? A milestone set that was um, weight plates because oh, he yeah. was a um, he was a personal trainer and he used to be a bodybuilder. Okay, and yeah. so I made like the weight plates for their new baby, and I'm like, oh, it's like it's just literally a bunch of circles, and yeah. it was, but it was a lot of circles, and mm-hmm. they were all different shapes, and they were all these layers, and I'm like okay, how am I going to make it? Cause there was two layers. How am I going to yeah. make it 3d without running through 14 sheets? Because you right. know, 12 months. Yeah. And then I use silhouette because that's where I started with silhouette studio and the vinyl cutter. And I use silhouette to make all my files, but the curve tool, the curve text tool sucks ass in right. silhouette. And so I'm like trying to curve all these texts and it's like, I'm running into all these issues. And then like I cut one and I think I somehow like, 
accidentally like resized one so it wasn't like fitting together perfectly like oh. i underestimated like all of that yeah um and i was so excited about it and then i mean that was a gift because that was literally just it was in my head i had yeah. to get it out of my head and i literally right. texted him and i was like do you even want this before i like spend all this time <laughs> right. making this right i've also run into where people are like you know they're super minimal so they don't want like this Anything. whole over the top set for their babies right but the, i just highly underestimated because my brain is always like oh that's simple we can do that in like a day and then four days later i charge you know whatever under a hundred dollars or something yeah. and then yeah. you know i and again this one was a gift so this was just me oh, like fun. getting it I just for fun getting it out of my head and like i'm like i have to make this and there's right. literally no other perfect person to person make it for, for it. right now like yeah. his brother is a personal trainer and ex bodybuilder but, but no kids. we zero kids and we don't even know if he wants kids or if he's gonna yeah. have kids so i'm like right. i gotta make this i need to but, do it yeah. now Totally. Yeah, it's so it's a struggle to to one to know your worth. That's the right. first part. Is yeah. because we're all really good at second guessing it. Like mm -hmm. John and I have imposter syndrome like yeah. to the core. Yeah. And so, you know, especially him being newer, he'll yeah. like he wants newer to owning his own video company. Yeah. You know, he'll he'll he wants the job, right. but then at the same time he's like okay right. i can maybe charge a cheaper rate because i'm newer to right. this but like don't forget that he still has however many you know 10 six to ten years of experience yeah. and yeah. <clears throat> your time is still valuable even if you are newer so Absolutely. Yeah, it's a struggle totally so we that was i think that was like the biggest thing so by the end it was it was funny because i am so big on that it took me a long time to really hone in on that and be like, okay, so this is, I guess this is what I have found. I would not spend $6,000 on my mosaic piece. Okay. I uh, mean, as not a your customer not. though, no, that's exactly <laughs> right. I wouldn't spend that, but somebody in the world who will spend that and more because mm -hmm. they value your artistry, they value your time, your worth. Only you can make yep. that item the way you make it. Totally. They're investing in you and in your business. So and your art, which oh, again is weird, but it's weird. It's weird. To be like, oh, yeah. But it, it's so true. Like, Mm -hmm. you are not your client and i think that's why a lot of people second guess because they're like yep, oh same. i want to spend that like well, yeah, I me too i'm making these over the top like milestone sets it's like my kind of like I don't really sell them, but like, yeah. I'd love to like sell them, but I'd have to, I joke to him, I have to go find celebrities who are having babies right. because they're okay. the only ones who can afford the amount right. of time that I put into these things. Like yeah. for <laughs> one of his friends, I want, well, I just, <clears throat> I don't know where my voice is going. <clears throat> All this recording, that's why. Yep. <laughs> um, but I made her, so for her first baby, she was, obsessed with like the Japanese culture and she loves Japanese yeah. culture and sushi and all that. So I made her a sushi set and there was yeah. like, I think 15 different colors of acrylic oh. and stuff. And I like, I drew those sushi right. things and like, yeah. you know, start to finish like a yeah. lot of freaking work. And again, that was a gift. And it was just because like, I have this idea, I want to make it, it'll be really fun. And yeah. so then she was having her second baby and she was like, you know, fishing themed. And mm -hmm. I was like, okay. And so then it took me months to figure out what I was going to make. Right. And then I finally came up with like, um, fishing lures and it was so funny because she sent me like these inspo pics right yeah. and the, some of the inspo pics were literally like it was just a piece of wood and yeah. they engraved like a fish silhouette and it said like one month and i'm like cool but no like that's, yeah, exactly. that's not me i'm yeah. so extra so yeah. over the top right i'm like i can't so of course i did 12 or 13 different colors of acrylic right. and did you know super sparkly crazy yeah. bubbly acrylic and you know the the fishing lures but yeah, I'm not my customer. I wouldn't right. spend two, three, four, five, up to a thousand dollars for these sets to take pictures with my baby. Right. But that doesn't mean that it doesn't have that value and that not those people it. don't yeah. exist. That's exactly right. And I find that once you realize that there are people who do exist that are your clients, it totally changes your perspective. And not only that, but when you're first starting out, I feel like you are just, you're 
literally trying to survive, especially yeah. if you go full time. This was me, right? This is when I finally made the decision to quit my job and do this full time. Mm-hmm. I didn't have the following that I had. I had like <laughs> right. community support and that was pretty yeah. much it. Well, and Lizzie has said before, just because you have that following 10, 15, 20, 50, a hundred thousand yeah. followers doesn't mean that a hundred thousand followers are buying your signs. No, not <laughs> you even know? close. Yes, it helps in some senses, but right. It's it's about your engagement, yeah, but that does not equate to sales. I can promise you that does not equate to any sales. And it's like you, if you have like the luck of the algorithm, you can go viral. And this happened to me a couple of times. Hence why my following has grown to what it has is literally because of like, I want to say four of my videos have gone viral and like millions of people have saw them and that's amazing. And like, I've had, I've had inquiries from that and I've had sales from that, which is great, but don't think that for one second that I'm sitting here and as I'm talking to you, I have 40, 40 emails coming into me. (laughs) People being like, Oh my gosh, I love your work. Like, no, that is not how it works. And I feel like it's super important to be transparent about that. And how many videos did you make? so that four could go viral. That's, That's the other exactly thing too. Right. You can't right. make one to 10 videos. Yeah. Okay, yes, it's possible. But like typically you make 10 videos, the chances of you going viral are not a lot. It's if you make happy. them every single day or several a week, right. your chances are gonna be a lot higher. Right. One, because you're getting out there more and two, yeah. you're probably getting better because right. just like signs and stuff, the more you post, yeah. I keep telling myself this, <laughs> yeah. the easier it gets. Cause right recording content so like i think i saw someone else post no stephanie um stephanie murphy Mm. she posted the other day about how she's like when you signed up to become a business owner did you really understand all that like went into that right because she left the dental industry because of a back surgery and she's like okay i gotta do something else whatever and she said a lot of people in the dental industry when they left being like a hygienist or someone in you know the the industry they often went to sales and she's like i'm not gonna go do sales yeah (laughs) yeah you are (laughs) <laughs> you're a business owner. You yeah, gotta sell yeah. your stuff. Yeah. So, you gotta so market. she was like, I wanted nothing to do with being like a salesman. And she was like, here I am having to be a salesman for right. my stuff. Your business. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. And you know what? I found that there's so many, it's funny, there's so many people that I have come across who have left the dental industry and are now doing like laser or woodwork mm-hmm. things. And it's so funny to like, it's still that meticulous you're still doing that meticulous mm-hmm. work. it's just in a different right. form yeah totally, totally. You, that, <laughs> I, you totally tell you have that you've been picking teeth for years like you right. have patience to like pick through all of this art you know so mm-hmm. when it came to like charging your work that was something i was really passionate about and by the end of the trip it was like okay, Kelsey, how much did you charge for this? Because I found that even these artists, so truthfully, there's Mm -hmm. artists still to this day who you think are very well established and they are, who still don't charge what they should be charging. Right. And I'm like, oh, you know, like, hold on, you only charge that for that? Like, no, 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 you need to add like at least another zero to that. Like, that's insane Mm -hmm. that you would only, you know, that in a way you only think your art is worth that much when really- No, I know how much work goes into that. So something that helped me, especially with my customs, um, there's a creator, the Living Timber Code, Jazz, and something that really helped me go full time. She created this quote calculator. It was this mm-hmm. whole spreadsheet thing, right? But I literally broke it down into every single item that you use to create a sign from like start to scratch. Mm-hmm. Okay, every sheet of acrylic, every can of paint, every, literally every single thing you would use to create a sign, yeah. put it on there. Okay, and then, so that's just your materials. Because mm-hmm. a lot of times people are like, oh, I factor my materials into my hourly rate. No, 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 and don't do that. <laughs> so you forget because then you're like, by the end of it, when you're like, okay, I think I should only charge like 600 for this. I'm comfortable with that. Okay. Mm-hmm. By then you're like costing yourself money. Mm-hmm. You're not making any money. You're not even right. making your money back. So yeah. this quote calculator for me really put that into perspective. And so I remember my very first like big order. It was a custom, this big like four foot custom sign. It had like laser engraved animals on it. I scrolled out the lettering. It had like an mm-hmm. acrylic standoff thing. And I remember it was a it was a shit ton of work. And I remember being like, okay. 
I'm gonna charge them. It was for an organization. I was like, I think I charged them like $6,500. And they also ordered like a secondary sign on top of that, like mm -hmm. a smaller one. So their entire order, let's say, was like almost 8,000. Wow. And I remember when I shot my shot for that, I was like <laughs> gonna vomit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Gonna, That's what I was, I was gonna like, ask you There's with no way. Like knowing your worth, do you still want to throw up every time like you no. send a quote? Absolutely not. See, I want to get to that point because I want to. Now I'm time. like, I shoot my shot. If you tell me no, that's healthy. That's okay. Because <laughs> right. there is there is a healthy no, right. and that healthy no I have come to realize is not because I'm not worth it. It's right. because I might not be within your budget, and that's okay. Right. Totally. And, yeah. And not one person. Never, not one time has anybody been like, I would never pay that. Or like, your worth, your work is not worth wow. it. Not one person has ever said That's that to awesome. me, knock on wood. But what they have said I to have me. Because I have heard that like in the groups and in the industry, some that like, it it, it takes that one person right. <clears throat> who challenges you on your yeah. pricing that yeah. or the, the worth, like, oh, right. you charge whatever for that. Like, I mean, I see those stories all the time yeah. on like TikTok or like Instagram or whatever. Yeah. And it just takes that one person and you already potentially having like self-esteem or worth right. issues in your right. art to make you second guess like oh wow maybe they maybe they are right or you know right. whatever so yeah it's 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 hard <laughs> no it 100 is it, it is hard and what i have found is that it's really like uh again you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea and that's okay right. but it's so important to like have that mental that mental headspace of being like you're not telling me no because i'm not worth it like at the end of the day, it's you're not, not a personal attack. Me. It's not a personal <laughs> Even attack. Even though my brain's like, yes, it is. They yes, it you. is. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, yeah, right. I'm telling you, you're not worth it. No, 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 no. It took me a long time to get over that mentality. Yeah. And be like, no. And so when people literally come back, I will, I'll shoot my shot, give them my quote, whatever. And when they come back to me, oftentimes it's like, thank you so much for your information. Your art is so beautiful and I can understand why you charge that much at this time. It's just not in my budget, but I'm definitely going to save for that. And I will yeah. get back to you later. I can, I get down with that. 100%. We have a, a goal artist that we want mm -hmm. to buy from. We yeah. had her on the podcast um, last year sometime mm -hmm. and she does um, an art called Trumploy and like okay. it looks, she's, so she paints, but it's like it looks realistic and it looks like 3d oh, okay, yeah. and the first thing I saw from her, um, she had painted something and the side of the painting looked like a cardboard box wow. so much so that I was arguing with him that it was yeah. a painting and he was like, no, it's not. And I'm like, it's a painting. Like she, right. she fucking painted that. And he was right. like, what? Yeah. So her mind yeah. was blown. And yeah. this is another part where I shot my shot because she had like, I don't know, <clears throat> 25,000, 50,000. I don't know how many like yeah. followers she had. And even as like a, you know, a little baby laser influencer mm -hmm. that we are with all of this stuff, like I would still be very nervous to reach out to people and ask them like, Hey, yeah. do you want to be on our podcast or whatever? Yeah. And so I reached out to her and she was just such a fun, cool like yeah. person. And like, she loves putting like curse words and like little inappropriate stuff in her paintings. Yeah. And I love that. Yeah. And so she's one of those artists that we can't quite afford her right yeah. now, but someday I, like That's I'm going to, buy something from her that is like a custom like trump Loy painting yes. that we put in our house that we're like so proud of because yes. Yes. and especially that too like these paintings are like intricate af yes. and so of course she should charge a shit ton of money right and you know she's in all these galleries and all that stuff yes. so like you earned what your price is absolutely and it's so funny how we don't typically think that of other people if we've ever ever quoted art or whatever we're like right. oh man that's amazing like you know you never think like oh that's not worth it right. you just think oh i can't afford that or that's yeah. not really like it i love it but not that much you yeah. know that kind of stuff no yeah. attack at their art but just it wasn't like your thing for that price range absolutely but when someone tells you no it's like oh <laughs> you know, yeah. like, you're like oh it's shot to my that. heart like directly to my heart and then and like a certain. side note from that <clears throat> i was telling him the other day like i say it all the time 
when you get into those higher price range mm -hmm. price ranges you get a different caliber of customer yes the ones where you're charging like only a hundred dollars or a couple hundred dollars for something that you spent hours and hours and hours on, mm. that's gonna be <laughs> mm. that's gonna be the person who's like, this isn't perfect, this has a tool mark, yes. or you know what I mean? Like yes. whatever finding all the imperfections, the yeah. the nitpicky. Like I see it all the time okay. on Amazon. They'll spend fifteen dollars on something and they'll like destroy it yeah. in the reviews. And I'm like, it was fifteen dollars. What did you expect it to do? Absolutely. Like, oh, I found that early on it was the clients who wanted like their nursery rounds. Okay, I'm telling you how much, like how many hundreds of dollars that's gonna be. And again, this was early on in my career when I didn't know what I know now. And I was like, okay, this nursery round is gonna be like five hundred dollars. And they were like, Oh, that's okay, but like I want it to look like this. And that's the other thing I found is people would take other creators' mm -hmm. designs and be like, I want you to make it because they think exactly it's this. Cheaper. Oh. Yeah, exactly this. And I'm like, no. So it's having the goal also to be like no you want the sale obviously but like no i'm not going to copy their work i don't do right. that you want that exact thing go to that artist right because exactly. they can give you that i can't give you that i can <laughs> give you like my version of that but you're not right. going to be happy with it and it's mm -hmm. also that you can save a dollar and so i have how i have like weeded those people out is I've created like my website and it is nothing to write home about it. it like <laughs> yeah. I do not like that aspect of this business part because I don't like being on the computer, even though that is literally the bread and butter of what I do. It's so important to do that work. Mm -hmm. I dread it. Like I just mm -hmm. want to hurry up, have my idea out and then go make it <laughs> right. I'm here for hours and hours and like design it or create the file or like, Oh my gosh, shoot me in the foot when I have to do that. Okay. Well, see, but then add that to the goals of now you can, Right. hire someone because right. the business growth and goals is hiring people for the tasks yes. and jobs that you hate you don't like, like to do absolutely mm -hmm. so i'm like getting to that point of okay can Good. somebody else yeah. do this because i don't have the time for this <laughs> right. i don't have the patience so i weeded those people out because i created my website and again i don't have so this is the other thing about my laser so I'll like put a pin in that part but when I created my website I wanted really just a place for people that they could inquire with me about a custom order that would come to my email because mm -hmm. oftentimes people slide in your dms and they're like hey how much is this right like how much I'm not gonna remember your username <laughs> right. I'm not gonna remember your profile photo Judy <laughs> I don't know okay yeah, I you want to know boy but of three you, or right? mom of three you know six one, five seven literally user one seven five nine no okay if you want to order from me you can take the time to go to my website which serious people and serious clients mm -hmm. will take the time to see that you have a website go to your website and Very it says true. custom inquiry here okay they're gonna take the time because it's not just like a question box it's no right. i won't you're gonna fill it out you're gonna take the time to type out what you want <laughs> right and put your contact information yeah. in. so i know on my end that you're an actual serious that's client. true that actually does you're, i can see how right. that weeds people out totally. from someone who's just going to waste your time and ask all these questions and want to see a mock-up before they even think about giving you a like a deposit totally. or it's yeah. just going to be like okay do this okay well you don't understand it's going to take me an entire day to do that i'm not going to do that right. if you are and that's the thing i can kind of figure out i have now got to the point where i kind of can read my clients a lot better and i know what they want they if they're gonna be like a higher caliber client versus mm -hmm. someone who's like hey i just want you to make me like little ornaments or like a little black kind of thing mm -hmm. still appreciate the time you took to fill it out but now i know that where your priority is on like right. my on my end yeah. and so i've gotten to the point now where with my laser. So I invested in this laser. Uh, this So I've manifested everything in my business, except for a saw stop, which is common. Right. I need to keep my fingers. Good okay? to know, because we're working on a lot of uh, manifesting over oh. here. So. Oh, my gosh. If you so have any manifesting tips, you oh, slide I'm, those into my DMs. I write it down every single day. Literally everything okay. that I am manifesting, I write it down every single day. Make a little nice. note, okay? okay? And I act like basically I already have it. I'm like, I'm mm. so happy and grateful now that I have my laser, have my soft stuff, have my own shop, have my own blah, blah, blah. Because mm. truthfully, I started in like my little 
she shed mm-hmm. about 10 by 10, 10 can in my backyard with yeah. my squirrel saw is literally how this started. And so everything since then I have like it manifested and built to like be what it is today. So when I wanted this laser I felt like that was the next business move for me last year my first year as a full-time scroll saw artist was really about just surviving making enough to pay my bills and put food on the table and put gas in my truck and that (laughs) was like literally it I was successful (laughs) if I could do that and we weren't Mm -hmm. starving and so I survived the first year and then the second year I was like okay, this is the year about growth, where everything, every extra thing that I make, I'm putting back into my business so that hopefully by year three, I can have all of the things that I've waited so long for. Like I can go on those vacations. I can literally just pop all these orders out with my laser. I can be like, I can update my website and I can have custom orders and have stock items that people can order because I got to the point, I'm at the point now where people are like, I don't, I can't afford your custom, but right. do you have anything in stock that I could purchase yeah. at like a lower price point? And that is really important for me to be able to offer to people. Right. My problem is that I am struggling with what those items are right. because I know that a lot of the times, depending on what way you go in the laser community, there's a season for a lot of things. A lot of people are like, back to school. I'm hammering those back to school right. signs out. I'm hammering pencils out, keychains. Okay. Now we're moving on to Christmas. Okay. Yeah. We're doing Christmas ornaments and that's like their bread and butter from like right. September to December. And that's the hustle. And then right. after that, we're moving on to Valentine's day. And I'm like, I don't have the patience for that. No. I don't have the force. I don't, have the, to, <clears throat> like, I don't have the brain for it because right. I'm so last minute to right holidays and stuff myself I when I was a file designer I really struggled with okay like if I'm gonna make something Halloween I need to make it in the summer right because I not only have to have it early enough for like Halloween if I'm selling it to other makers I have to have it early enough so that they can buy it so that they can purchase it it and market it and make it towards and sell it to their customers you know several like about yeah. a month ahead and I was always like creating a file and then the holiday was in two weeks and they're like cool that's really pretty I hope it's still really cool next year yeah I absolutely. Like, I remember that's so true right and it's like that's that <clears throat> hustle of the seasonal work and I just know that's not for me I yeah. want to be able to create a timeless piece where like you know if Crystal you needed a gift for John you could be like you know what Kelsey it's literally April I don't care what holiday it is it's John's birthday next week and you know what I see this on your website and I can get it tomorrow kind of thing Mm -hmm. that's what I want like timeless pieces that are just more than like a little laser thing and I know there's going to be different price points for everybody but that was like ultimately my goal and someone told me because I was like you know what are people going to buy from me I don't really know blah 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 I thought that like little negative self-talk and someone's like just create it because people are gonna buy it for me because it's you yeah. and I was like Isn't hey, that crazy, hey though? like that's wild that's, that's awesome so true yeah great you're like oh I never really thought of that but you're right mm-hmm. so when it comes to that that was ultimately my goal with my laser was to be able to create products and I had this vision of okay I'm gonna have this whole warehouse full of stock products and I'm gonna have a team and they're gonna just pull orders for me all day and I'm just gonna like yeah. hammer all these out and just work and work and work and like mm-hmm. that's still the vision but like realistically <laughs> that's right. like five years from now right. right now we are still in the season of customs and my laser will work when I need her to but I need to get better at doing more of my like woodworking and getting my laser to work while I'm working because yeah. I'm horrible at that yeah I forget that she's like sitting there collecting dust this <laughs> she's expensive, huge how could you forget her? right this expensive piece of equipment is literally just which, begging me so to which one do you have by the way so I have a TTP stingray a what? And it's, a, it's a TTP Stingray. Yes. That must be a Canadian thing. It is a Canadian brand. Okay. Okay, <laughs> I'm so, like, I don't know that one. <laughs> no. So, it's okay. called a Stingray? That's pretty cool. Oh, Stingray. Okay. Huh. So this brand TTP, they're in Manitoba. Okay. And I'm not sure if you've heard of Justina from Lush Lemon Co. She also has uh, 
the, na- the company it? name sounds familiar. Yes. So she got a laser uh, almost two years ago now. Mm-hmm. And so her and I were truthfully looking at lasers around the same time. And it was, we were both kind of in the mindset of like, okay, we can do the scroll saw work, but I feel like in order for our business to grow, this is kind of the next step for us. Mm-hmm. And so she was, you know, I was looking at like an epilogue. I was looking at mm-hmm. Amira. I was looking mm-hmm. at um, Trotech. That's like another mm-hmm. Canadian, right? Okay. Right. So I was looking at all of these lasers and again, I knew nothing. I knew <laughs> nothing about these machines. It was all foreign to me. All I knew was that I could start a fire, but it could also create like really cool right. things. <laughs> yeah. And so I I thought I did so much research. And so Justina ended up finding this company, TTP Lasers, mm-hmm. and they're a Canadian company. And that was important for me, mostly for the support, oh, because I sure. wanted to be able to talk to a person. <clears throat> If I have an right. issue, I want to talk to you. Like, well, and I have heard yesterday. that uh, Eon Canada, hopefully no one from Eon Canada is listening, yeah. um, but I haven't heard the best like uh, reviews on yeah. those machines because there's a lot of, you know, because I have an Eon from yeah. Eon USA yeah. and I see customers all the time who are posting in the local USA group because right. they're not getting the help or the questions or the answers oh that they need from, from Canada or whoever right. their, their rep was. Right. Um, so yeah, it's, it's very important. I mean, when we had on um, Danny with Eon, yeah. one thing that he said to me that always sticks out with me is that you're not only just buying a machine, you're buying a support system right. and you better yes. hope that if your business kind of goes around this machine or goes around a few yeah. machines that there are machines and service that you can count on yeah so like it's kind of like when you marry someone you're not just marrying them you're marrying the family everything so, absolutely that's so true and you you know how it's so important so when i i was looking at these lasers and for me like cost was obviously an issue because i also was like super stubborn and i was like i'm not financing this i'm buying it outright right. i don't owe nobody any money i want to <laughs> do it my dang self and so i did i um, again back to manifesting i manifested this order so this laser that i bought outright i want to say it cost me like sixteen thousand, mm-hmm. and that is for like i I don't even know the specs on this, okay? But I want to say it's like a 120 watt laser. Sounds about the right. Size is like a 36 by 52 50. something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's like a big ass laser. Yeah, and I girl. knew then that I was like, there. I'm not buying this laser. I'm not doing it twice. I'm doing it once, and I'm doing it right. So if it's Smart. gonna cost me sixteen thousand up front. So be it. But I don't want to have to spend that again. And so I manifested this order whereas eighteen thousand dollars was this order that I had and so immediately which was great because I had that spent in five minutes because I immediately (laughs) texted I messaged the user guy and I was like hey send me literally how can I pay for this right because I'm just gonna transfer it you don't want to hold on to the eighteen thousand for too long because you'll think about it and you're like "Mm, you're thinking you're like this this." Mm -hmm. yeah no you gotta just just pass it off so you don't even see it (laughs) totally so that was the only crappy thing was like I have this eighteen thousand okay now I have this eighteen thousand dollar order that I now have to do for less than two thousand dollars because I have that (laughs) and so do not recommend doing it the way I did because that stressful um but so this was the thing i bought my laser back last april mm-hmm. i didn't actually get my laser until november and the reason mm-hmm. for that was because at the time i was working out of my dad's garage okay so it was i was sharing the space with me my dad and my brother and this was my full time they had other jobs so like yeah. for the most part i could take over the garage right yeah but I knew that the goal was for me to have my own space. It was so right. important to be in my own energy, creating the things I wanted to create in yeah. like in your in space. my space. Yeah. And so I said, well, I'm not going to, I put the cart before the horse because I bought the laser before I built my shop. Right. But it was in the process. So I had already poured like the slab from my shop. I had inherited this building from my grand. And basically got, I should have hindsight, I should have just built the dang thing myself, but I was like (laughs) nostalgia of it. Like it's from my grandma. So I'm going to put my shop there. And at the time when this was kind of coming to fruition, 
I just had my scroll saw. So my little 24 by 12 shop would have been perfect. Right. Okay, but then I got this like big ass laser that literally <laughs> took up three quarters of my shop. Right. So I'm like, I should have just built like a 30 by 30, but hindsight is right. funny. Right. And so I basically had, that was the thing. I had this laser not physically here because they literally, this company would have sent it out the next day. Like oh. they had it ready for me. And I oh, had wow. to be like, I, so I paid them and I had to be like, I'm going to message you when I'm me. ready. <laughs> yeah. Right. I had to say, I want to message you when I'm ready, but it's paid for. Like, mm -hmm. I'll let you know when I want it. Yeah. So that was April. So the whole summer goes by. And at this point, I had a couple of laser friends close to me who at least have laser businesses. They've been operating these lasers. So I had a couple orders where I actually outsourced the laser work to them because it was something that I could have scrolled, but it would, would have took me so long. I was right. still on a time crunch. So yeah. when I got them to laser this thing for me, I was like, that did not in 10 minutes. That would have taken me all day, if not yeah. two weeks to do. So I was totally enthralled with the idea of a laser. Couldn't wait. So I was kind of just building my knowledge up while I waited. And I didn't tell anybody about this laser because I also awesome. was like, how am I going to also, how am I going to like bridge the gap of mm. completely handmade to, okay, now I'm adding a laser. It's basically like my little assistant. Yeah. She wasn't hiring somebody, truly. Right. So I just you I don't, don't have to pay that. insurance. Well, exactly. I mean, business insurance, but not health insurance, yeah. at least. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, you know, it's cheaper than hiring somebody. So I finally built my shop, got the hydro in, and my shop is kind of like set back in my driveway. So it's sitting, I have three acres of land. So it's sitting on my one side of my driveway. And so I call the company and he's like, Initially, I emailed them and I said, hi, it's Kelsey. I'm just inquiring about my TTP Stingray. I'm just letting you know I'm ready for it. And they forgot in a way. They forgot. He When he responded, he's like, hey, like, let me know. Um, you know, here's the specs for the laser. Let me know if you want to proceed with payment. Da, 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 da. And I was immediately responding back. I was like, no, no, no. I already bought no, this. No, no, no. Paid. Okay. I already bought this. So he's like, oh, my goodness, Kelsey. Like, Okay, no, I'm so sorry. He's like, truthfully, Heart we have your laser for you. Yeah, we have your laser. I'm so sorry. I kind of forgot. Like, <laughs> the name rang a bell, but I kind of forgot where we were at with this process. And so it's the guy, his name is Ray. Unbelievably helpful. His wife, Jessica, unbelievably helpful. So we are kind of like going back and forth trying to figure out like delivery, whatever. And so what he said to me was because I bought the laser back in April, they had keep, they consistently upgrade their models. So every mm. time they get a new shipment, there's something new on it. Okay. So right. he was like, realistically, you're getting our latest, greatest up-to-date model for the price that you paid in April when really it's like actually an extra $1,500 more now. Oh. But every time, basically like we'd set one aside for you and then we would sell it as soon as our, you know, we'd put right. your name on the new shipment, keep it yeah. for you. And then just keep so bumping. Yeah. Yeah. So basically I ended up with like their latest and greatest model without nice. even realizing yeah. great. <laughs> or he just forgot and he was like, sure. Totally. Go so laser. <laughs> right. So anyway, I either remember, way, like, it doesn't matter here or there. Anyway, but... <laughs> I, yeah, either way I get the laser. So I was like, okay, I think I'm ready for it. And he was like, okay, well, because so I can't remember what it's called, but basically they freight it to you. But when they do that, there's no way to track it because it basically just like hops from truck to truck to truck to get it to you the fastest. Oh my so God. Like I'm shipping it on like Friday. It could get to you like Wednesday, Thursday. I don't really know, but sometime next week. So just basically wait for a call. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I, I, the day I had hydro in my shop, I went to my dad's garage and I grabbed a trailer and I loaded up my entire workshop and I dumped it into my new building. And I was like, we'll figure that out later. That's a, <laughs> like next week, Kelsey problem. Right. We'll figure that out later. And so I get this phone call on like a Wednesday and I was completely unprepared because I thought that they would like back the truck into my driveway and like help me unload it. Okay. All he had was, what is it called? Not a tow motor, but basically like the hydraulic. Yes. Yeah. But just like the one with the handle, like there's right. nothing mm -hmm. special to Power it. Yeah. He moved, he moved that laser with a pallet jack? 
Yes. Wow. Okay. So, but my driveway was muddy. So he was <sighs> like, the thing sunk with the laser on it. So then he was like, well, so my $16,000 laser is sitting on the side of the road. And I'm in the like, mud, in the mud. And he's like, do you have a way to get it back to your building? Because my building's probably like 100 feet from the road, if not a little bit more. Oh and so I was like, okay, give me a second. My dad's around the corner. Like, let me go get a trailer. Do you think we could like, I'll hook it up to the trailer. Keep in mind, I do not do the trailering. Okay. I don't <laughs> want that. Well, Can I don't we, hook it up. Yeah. You. I have never hooked a trailer up a day in my life, but I was right. like, I'm going to do it today. Okay. Fun fact, it literally fell off around the corner, it, like slammed into the back of my truck because I didn't know that you had to like put chains on and or put a pin in. I just thought you pushed the like lever down on the wall. Girl, it was a thing so embarrassing. My uncle fell, my aunt saw it like a laugh and going to the ditch. Like the guy in the tr- the delivery guy was like watching me, watching it hit my truck, and I was like, I'm just trying to get my laser in my I'm doing the best I can here. And literally, I'm doing the best I can with the tools that I have, which oh is not so I get I get the trailer. Back on my truck, I find a pencil crayon in my truck to act as a pin because that's all I had. So I get it like into my truck. We load this laser on. Oh my God. I drive it to like my little walkway into my shop. And the my shop door is like six feet wide. And my mm-hmm. thinking was that's perfect because we're just gonna slide the laser in, like just this slide side. it on in. We're right. just gonna slide it in. Just okay. Good. Well, so the width of the laser was like four feet, right? So it's like four feet. In my head, that was going to fit. He's going to put it in like lengthwise, like the narrow end is going to go in the door and then we'll be fine. Yeah. No, my guy loaded it the other way. And so he's trying to fit it in like the eight foot side to go in the door. And I was like. Into a six foot hole. Literally, we are like Austin Powersing this laser to try and get it into my door. Is probably how the forklift, if it's sitting oh, on the pallet, right. yeah, it can the only go the one can only direction, go in one right? Direction. Yeah. So he is swearing. We are both swearing. He's like, "Do you have anything to lift this up? Like, anything to?" Because he'd have to keep jacking it up and then letting it down to try and like hop it along into my shop. Okay. After like two hours, we finally get it into my shop, and I was like, "I am so sorry," but now the problem well, is so, like, did the delivery driver was he still helping this whole time? Oh, yeah. Did the whole thing he like got it into my shop and then he was done wow because like, like the delivery time. drivers of like my mira it like he did us a favor by even putting it into the garage and it was like a like a just like, pushed it right in, in. yeah no it oh, wasn't no. like i was probably because he saw me and i was just like this little old me like what am i gonna do with this like, like, did you see her struggle with that trailer yeah right did you see I her, her, her use the like, least i, I can leave do, her here yeah. the least i could yeah. do is put this in there for her she's right, not like, gonna be able to get it uncrated uh, or anything at all no, anyway. right <laughs> No, he's like, she used a pencil crayon to hold that trailer on. I'm like, how are we going to? No. So it was okay, but did it work? Oh, it did. So I've never shared that story because I was so embarrassed. Like, so embarrassed to even. All that matters is it works. (laughs) Yes. So he had it like jacked up. He had, I had like five old rounds that I had for something else that he had to use to like get it, essentially like pop it up a little so he could get the lift out mm-hmm. so as soon as he got it out he was like see you never it's like you never. <laughs> like don't want to hear it right, please just, don't order anything else totally i was just like so happy i was just so stoked i'm like it's here but then my problem was trying to back the trailer up because i also didn't know how to do that so that was me like jackknifing the trailer for like 20 minutes and so finally i just came back to my dad's and i called my brother to be like yeah so I called my brother the big laneway and I was like, okay, I'm bringing the trailer back, but I'm not I'm putting it back where I found it. He's like, oh yeah, just like, just don't leave it in the middle of the driveway. I was like, no, I'm leaving it right in where the middle it is. of the driveway. driveway. You can move it. Also, I kind of dented it. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's my bad. So love you, mean it. <laughs> literally love you. Bye. And so when I get back, I like unload the laser. So this is like November. 
And I didn't actually like, I was so nervous to get it all set up. And it's so it's terrifying. It, it's, it is. Especially and, a big one like that. Like that. Oh, yeah, like, okay. But in the meantime, I forgot about this. Okay. In the meantime, <laughs> I um, got sponsored an extra P2 laser prior mm. to this. Okay. So it was, I got sponsored this laser in like mm. August. So it was their. Yeah desktop version it was like mm-hmm. their highest end right yeah and at the time they had kind of just started reaching out to influencers and i totally mm-hmm. thought it was a scam so i so didn't did I. yeah so they sent me an they sent me an f1 but i yeah. had to ask my other friend who was an x tool affiliate and yes. i was like hey like, how do i know that they're actually like x tool i was like because this feels that. real it could be a scam but it also could be real and he was like yes ask her who her boss is <laughs> so i had yeah. to do that to like i had to vet her because yeah. there's so many scams now that you don't even yeah. like believe the real stuff yeah absolutely and i was like oh it's from make block something it was some woman i was dealing with but they had mentioned another creator and so this mm. creator i had just started following like two days mm. before this and so i had to awkwardly be like hey is this real because they like <laughs> right. kind of uh, hyped you up but like yeah. so he told me it was real whatever but I ha- I was honest with them and I said, you know, I have a big laser coming. So like I right. it's not gonna be a problem because yeah. I have already invested in that and like right. I had mm-hmm. no interest in investing in the smaller one, like ever. Right. So they were like, no. And at the time, because it was one of the first ones, they also didn't have any sort of like pamphlet or like guidelines oh, manual. that I had yeah. to post. Like there was no oh we want 17 posts for this laser we want yeah. don't do an unbox there was none of that it was like yeah. you post like one or two videos and that was it so i basically got a steal the deal yeah and so i was like yeah sure like sounds great so yeah. when i got that laser though it was truly a i was very spoiled with that because it's very mm-hmm. much a plug and play so like right. if you think you have That's what I'm say. i it, suggest the p2 now to anyone yeah. who's looking for like a starter laser or something that's easy to learn yes. Like I started with a Glowforge and I yeah. cannot recommend a Glowforge anymore because right. like just they have some other issues. I mean, but yeah. you know, it was my start. And if it wasn't right. for the Glowforge, like I was still terrified of, you know, my Mira 9, but yeah. having that that like baby step really right. made it so that it was like possible. Bearable, it was, it was yeah. terrifying, terrifying, yeah. Oh, absolutely. So when I got the P2, it was plug and play, like, boom, I was cutting out circles, I was cutting out keychains, like all these things immediately, which was great, but you also don't get the background knowledge of like, okay, you need to clean your lens, you need to align your mirrors, like everything's right. kind of hidden. I didn't know what I had to like, vent mine. I, was I like, didn't even oh, know what that meant. I had to vent it outside? Oh, okay. You're like, oh, me. I don't, yeah, like, I don't want to figure that out. Oh, yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> so it was, it was awesome to learn on, um, but it was a really big wake-up call when I got my big laser, because, like, none of that was relevant, really. Like, learning yeah. a completely different software, learning the actual ins and outs of a true laser, Yep. the amount of youtube tutorials <laughs> i remember the first time i heard like someone talk about a gantry and i was like cool what? what's that yeah <laughs> like, this day, i'm like oh wait what part again right what? oh the yeah rails where's the lens like yeah. oh but that was like the shiny like blue thing in the glow force like what is yes. <laughs> what's what that, is here? that in real life yes. yeah there was totally. no alignment or anything no. with like the glow forge i mean there yeah. was but you couldn't do it yourself you just had to deal with the fact that it, it wasn't aligned well right <laughs> yeah. right so it it really was great to learn on but i mean i was spoiled in that way and so i haven't really i really haven't used it since like last year because mm-hmm. it's been at the old shop right. so now that i have my big one it's like mm-hmm. it can do literally way more than what that can do and yeah because i don't even have a product right now that i'm making simultaneously yeah what is the point of having that one and this one taking up space that i already don't have right. and so it's kind of just sitting but ultimately it's like i just want everybody to like psa the p2 <laughs> is like the very much hold your hand version mm-hmm. of what a true laser is and i wish right. i would have known that and i also wish more people would have been honest about how frustrating it is to actually get your laser set up 
Right. Like, True. and truthfully, it took me probably five months, com- like, tr- like completely mm-hmm. honest, it took me five months to fully, completely set my laser up the way it needed to be set up. The big like, one? Leveling, yeah, like, oh, leveling yeah. the bed, like, even getting, that. right, like, even getting, um, doing, like, the water separator and everything. Oh, right, I, yeah. I knew I should have did it, but I was like, oh, that's fine, that's until it wasn't, and I had to do, like, 30 <laughs> plaques, and there's water spewing everywhere, and I'm oh, like, no. what? And I have to go to, like, four different hardware stores to figure out how I can even, like, get this to yeah separate the water and, like, right. All these extra things that, you know, because I know there are so many, like, laser influencers, I guess, and people who, they get a mirror and, like, somehow, magically, it's up and running in two hours. I'm like, you're lying. Yeah. There's no way. Yeah. There's, and I, like, I have friends who are that way that got it and just have no fear and, like, just dive in and figure it out. And if it wasn't for him, I probably would have never started my laser because, I was pregnant and miserable and didn't want anything to do with lasering at the time. Yeah. And, but I had spent all this money. I spent right. 11,000 on mine. So I was like, yeah. I need to get this up and going so that right. one, I just need to at least know that it works because right. I also had a friend who d- got a, a Mira and it sat in a crate for years oh my god she was just so overwhelmed and so terrified and also super busy that it gave her a good excuse to not stop and learn something new that she had and it sat there for so long that she actually had to like replace the tube and like yeah but i she finally has it set up i believe is what the update (laughs) is yeah um but yeah so like i mean there's the varying degrees of like you know start it right away i'm so excited to the oh my god i don't know where to start and i like just can't but i don't know yeah i had a i was lucky that I had a, a cousin of mine. He's an HVAC guy because I had no idea how to even vent this thing. Right. And so I was yeah. like, I'm getting dryer vents, but like, where do I put them? How do, what size do right. I need? So he was like, get this, this is what you get. He came and he did it like super professionally. Like it nice. looks great. Um, but had he not did that, I still wouldn't be up and running. And I'm like, no. and I know that. And so when it came, I have a friend, um, when I kind of start thinking about this laser, I had a friend, and this is partially why I went with TTP also. She has an epilogue laser. And when she told me how much she spent on this thing, I was like, you could have bought a car. It's like, literally a car. You could have bought a car. <laughs> and it you was can't like, drive it. Yes, and it was. So her, the bed size on hers, I want to say, is like a 20 by 24 or something. Mm-hmm. It's not very big. And I think she told me she spent like well over $20,000 on this mm-hmm. thing. And it doesn't operate at full capacity. It operates at like 30%. Her ladies oh, no. like 30%, but they won't do anything for it. Like she's put tickets in and all these things. Yeah. And it's like, sorry. I'm like, so you have this brand spanking new caddy that you can't even drive. Right. Because yeah. It's really operating like this little like old, yeah. little old won't be like, what right. is going on? Yeah. So when she told me that initially, I was really deterred about mm-hmm. buying one because mm-hmm. That just seems so unattainable to just right. have that amount of cash chilling. True, so, very true. right. So then, when I finally figured out this whole TTP thing, um, you know, and that was a route to go because the Trotec also was like thirty six thousand dollars for the big one, and I was right. like, excuse me, <laughs> right. absolutely not. Yeah. So TTP I was. I will amazing. say. That the people who I know who have Trotex, I don't know many, yeah. um, but the ones who have them really love them. So, like, yeah. I'm pretty sure the um, the puzzle guy, JB, mm. he, I think he he used to have something like God, like three to five universals, and oh, wow, he got yeah. rid of all of them and has like one Trotex or right. maybe two or something like that. He's like, yeah. I can't tell you like. You know, for for what he did, it made sense, and he could actually complete more work right. because of the specs of the Trotex. So right. I will say that there's like the positives and negatives, and totally. I mean, the ones who have them are like die hard, like oh, oh no, right. that money is worth it. Yes. but you know, it's not it's not attainable for, yeah, for a lot 
of people. us. Right. Hell, the fact that we even spent 4K on the Glowforge in 2018 was terrifying for us because yeah. I was a stay at home mom. Like, yeah. I was doing t shirts and stuff on the side to my friends and family. And yeah, so absolutely. Fast forward to where we all na- are now, and it's it's so crazy. it's like crazy it's like you're doing the things that you only once dreamt of but it's well, like the reality yeah like i know we have yeah. to wrap it up because we're like way over but um <laughs> i told you i could talk i could talk for hours right well and this is why we really got to consider that like kind of the laser everything model where like you talk for an hour and then like the rest of it is kind of for like the paid people mm, because yeah. it's oh, so yeah. hard yeah. sometimes to stop yeah. talking to other people yeah, makers sure. creators because there's so much that we relate on yeah. you know that um but yeah i forget where i was where my thought was that i was trying to yeah, I don't remember either. yeah it's gone but <laughs> but i will say whatever. like like for me the the ttp for for me was amazing specifically for like you said the family that you get with the customer mm-hmm. service and I will say they like pride themselves on that. And I can tell you that if I were to tell the person and you talk directly to the owners, and if I were to call him right now and say, hey, Ray, I have this problem with my laser, he would be on a, vo- a video chat with me within mm-hmm. five minutes. Right. And like that is yeah. so, especially for people starting out, it's like that's, you're investing in the company yeah. and also in the support. And right. so if there's anything that I can tell you, like yeah. from what I've learned, which obviously isn't much, but yeah. more than anything, like that support, you're paying, yeah. yes, you're paying for the machine, but more importantly, yep. you're paying for that support and you're paying for the support for years to come. Not yeah. just when your warranty runs out, it's like right. they pride themselves right. on, you know, I want my machine to run for right. years. Well, I don't I want always, the money. Have you had, um, what do you call it? A collision yet with the the head of your laser and like the bed no never oh okay so oh, um, you make me nervous. well <laughs> if it if and when it oh, we'll yeah. say if we'll lean on the if if it happens yeah. just know that that's the laser rite of passage oh okay. like when it happens to people it happened to me and yeah. you freak out and you think that you just ruined your really expensive machine and laser and it makes a yeah. god-awful noise because <laughs> i mean you're you know going against like no, um, yeah. would, it, would it depend on the focus ring it, it depends on pin, like I mean? it depends on yeah how you focus like mm-hmm. that's true because a lot of times it happens when you do auto focusing so if you manually oh. focus yeah you're okay. it's unlikely that that's going to happen right. because it right. hasn't happened since right. i manually and new, focus and the new red lines now <clears> they true they have a different have a but different... like i still feel like it could possibly happen if yeah. something fails you get too close yeah. or or so what happened for me was and a lot of people when you go to focus if it like slips off the material mm-hmm. or, and it's trying right. to like catch on something to get yeah. that focus, focus for you, yeah. that's uh-huh. when you have the collisions. Right. But I just, I would see so many people freak out like, oh my God, they don't know what to do. They don't know where to go. But you know, there's a lot of like user errors in the beginning, yeah. but if you have the support of friends, laser yeah. groups and the company, you're good. You're good, just, absolutely. You, gotta, you know, cause there's just, we say it all the time. You don't know what you don't know. And as long as you have that support, you can figure there's not a whole lot besides like a big fire. Yeah. And even then right. I've seen people have really bad fires yeah. in their laser and still be able to like replace a couple things and yeah. it, and they're good. Yeah, so I there's saw a post recently <clears throat> and they're like, Oh, the machine's oh yeah. still working. And they're like, Oh, it's still cutting. And I'm <laughs> like, really? Okay. Really? Wow. Yeah. Um, but you know, besides that, there's not a lot that you can do to your laser or the machine that you can't fix so that yeah. right. that helps you know the newbies who are yes. scared of like you know ruining something it's like mm, okay yes you can make it a little bit annoying but you're not yeah. going typically you're not going to break something that can't be yeah. fixed so. and it's like find the people who support you and truly want to see you win because they will yes. help you 
right? Like there's some people in the laser community where it's like, mm, some people might not want to share their tips and tricks and that's okay. That's your totally. project. Yeah. But there's also other people who are so helpful and just want to see you win. And I was so grateful when I was struggling and I shared that all my story. Like, I don't know anything, help me. And the amount of people who truly knew what they were talking about, yeah. they're like, try this, try that, get this, get that. Like I was so grateful for them because it's like yeah. that other, they get it. They know mm -hmm. what you're going through and they're like, okay, let me help you because I wish I knew okay. this and you know I wish I had someone to tell me this and so I try to also exude that to people who are starting out and they're like Kelsey you know what what's something that I should know that maybe I you know people aren't sharing or whatever and I'm like yeah. just no it's not okay one I guess two things like one the the truth is you will definitely make your money back and the laser will pay for itself, but don't have the expectation that you're going to get this laser and it's going to change your life overnight. Right. Because there's so much you need to learn before you even get to that point where it can start to work for you and work in that way. Like you need to yeah. put your work in mm -hmm. to it. It's a process. That's exactly right. But also it's like, you're exactly right. You don't know what you don't know. And you can do so much research, but until you actually get it and you actually yeah, put it together, you're gonna, you're gonna have fires right. at like the amount of times I pressed my emergency stop because flames <laughs> were shooting out. And I was like, right. what is going on? It's like, it's okay. Yeah. I'm being like, try not. And to actually, I just posted one recently that um, I was watching the laser and it was like flaring up for some reason because yeah. I think I was cutting like quarter inch acrylic. Yeah. And it was like only on like certain directions and certain yeah. like, you know, certain cuts. Yeah. And so I had like my finger like really like either on right the there. cross or like close. Yes. And I was like saying, I was cutting out like an octopus silhouette, but it looked like a ghost. And you're like, oh, and it looks I, like a ghost. I, Oh. When I, yeah, when I go, it looks like a ghost, and I like yeah. I sang it because I didn't mean to because there was a yeah. huge flame. Right. As I was yeah. saying there's a ghost, and it was yeah. like it, I watched it like 20 times because it cracked me up because right. I like accidentally sang because like, yeah. like, like hey, yes, I yeah, okay. yeah. and then the flame goes out right away, and then you start yeah. it again. But yeah, you're like it's fine, everything's fine, it's good, relax. Oh, so we're cool. good. We're like yeah. that's that's exactly right. It's gonna happen. And there's a learning curve to, ev to every part of your business. And I think a laser is such a great tool for anybody who is looking for, you know, kind of like, how can I level up my business? Who And also somebody who's very much like, I just want to do everything and anything. And it's like your laser can do that for you. And you can figure out what it is that you truly like to do. Yep. If you like to sit there and cut out 16 different pieces of acrylic to make your baby name signs, <laughs> power to Apparently you. I do. I I'm torturing like, myself. <laughs> exactly. Like, I probably would not have the patience for that. I'm like, yeah, it's crazy. I can make these crazy mosaics. Yeah, when I think the same thing about the mosaics. I'm right. like, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way I do that, right? And I'm let's say way about, like, an acrylic name sign, like a... Um, and baby announcement thing. I'm like, oh, you have to cut out all of those pieces? Like, you're insane. Right. Meanwhile, I'm like, yeah, there's probably like a thousand pieces that I cut. But I'm like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so I'm going to do it. Yeah. But yeah. Well, we had so much fun yes. with you. And we clearly yeah, need to do a it again. Two. Because yes. <laughs> I was going to say, I told you I could talk. I could talk <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> I know. It's, it's hard. It's like, yeah. it's so easy because we just, again, you relate to people and yeah. having having those people that mm -hmm. just like get it. We're, we're kind of like old people in a senior home. As soon as you have someone to talk to, you're like, oh, and then this, and then look at this yes, picture right. of this thing I made. Instead of a grandbaby, yeah. it's look at this sign that look I just made. I made. Yeah. Totally. So it's like you have an appreciation. Everybody has an appreciation for the work that you do. And I think yeah. that's so important and so important to know your worth and like surround yourself with people who to, who truly get it, like get yes. you. Yeah. Totally. Yes. Facts. Well, thank you Wait, for. Where do people find her? Oh, that's right. Where do where? Oh, we talked all this time <laughs> about it, and we didn't. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we said her name in the, yes, the beginning. Yes, but where least, do people but... officially find you? Okay, officially, Cardinal Official. You can find me on Instagram at Pellets and Co. I'm also on TikTok on Pellets Co. and on Facebook. I don't love the Facebook, but I'm still there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. for sure. Got to be in all the places. All the places. Unfortunately. Yep. <laughs> it's like all my parents' friends who love Facebook. That's why I'm there. So they <laughs> their friends. The community that's, that that's we're we in, yeah. Yeah. it's all Facebook all people. Facebook. And I'm like, but can you come over to IG? Right. We, we love, love the Facebook groups because I have like all the Facebook groups and my friends yeah. in the Facebook right. groups. But I don't sell. The only things that are posted on my Facebook page is are things that are automatically posted from my IG. So yeah, yeah, right? yeah. facts. <laughs> totally. Yeah. So thanks for uh, spending an hour with us. Hour something. Hour something. <laughs> Almost two hours. Uh, I'll figure. I'll figure that out when I see the right. time. Um, but you stay right there. We'll talk a little bit more, okay. and uh, you guys stick around for life update coming up next. And we are back. Yes. With a PSA. What? Be careful for what you wish for. Yeah. Because. <laughs> Man, this week is. It's, it is. We're recording on a Monday, and I th- it is slam. This packed. Monday feels like a not like a Friday mm-hmm. because it's not like you know Fridays feel different, right? No. This feels like a really really long week on a Thursday, and it's right. like just the first day, right? Yeah. It's, so yeah. we're I call it uh, neck deep in a uh, course creation. Yes. Um, you know typical crystal i underestimate the amount of work yep. that things take you know i'm sitting here like oh this course is gonna be like it's gonna be cake. 150 tops yeah. it's just it's literally what i told myself how i gaslit my own self <laughs> was that oh, okay it's basically 10 tutorials mm-hmm. and like you know the right. the welcome video right? right that's what i told myself this was gonna be no and then i start like really diving into the outline i'm like well i need to cover this i need to cover this i need to cover this and then ideas they don't stop coming i talk i haven't talked to many people about the course because it's just i had enough going on anyway Mm -hmm. i had like the ideas and then you know i'm talking to brie with the burn check and we're like oh you should make a qr code sign that lights up cool great guess what i'm adding to the course and then (laughs) you know positive things positive things like these are awesome things that i'm glad like we thought of right um at the same time you know and then i was talking to robin parker marsh and we went into a rabbit hole of ideas too and i'm like uh and she's like when is this launching and i was like i don't know so it's like yeah. it's soft launching basically to my pre-sale people mm-hmm. wednesday this week so by the time you guys hear about it it's like the first part of it will already be out. And I had every intention to give them the full course on this day. It's just, it's not just not, not there. Um, and you know, what doesn't help is that there's just, there's life, you know, doesn't help. And then yeah. I've felt okay this week, but I've been basically sick since May. And so trying to do all this stuff when you don't really feel great on top of like your normal business, it's, it was difficult um but we're trucking along and they'll have something they'll yep. have several module signs one is done. <laughs> module one is done they'll have several signs to look at and we'll probably yep. be still tweaking stuff after it's uploaded and you know okay we uploaded a, yeah. a better version or a more visually appealing version you know a couple days later or the next week or whatever um but yeah. yeah, I'm excited for it. You know, I know it's it's something that a lot of people um, want to see and have consistently wanted to see since Next Level 2022. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm just, I'm proud of myself for even just getting it out because I got in my head and, you know, just let life get in the way and didn't make it a priority. Right. And that's why I forced myself to do this presale. I needed people to have given me their hard-earned money and wait money. for real life money and and expecting it because otherwise right. i like Just, especially this week with how busy it yeah, is i'd be yeah, like ah, we'll i'll do, do it, it next, next week. week yeah but sure. there's like next week is always busy too it doesn't it may not look right. as busy um this week is insane but yeah. like so he normally like you know depending he'll have like a shoot here and there maybe like one a week um it's a busy week if he has two yeah uh he has three i have three yep. so tuesday wednesday thursday and, and i had one um, on I saturday launch, uh, and yes. i had one on saturday yes. that needs to go out by thursday yeah and 
I was going to launch, I am going to launch something on Wednesday. <laughs> um, so yeah, again, like all great things. Right. Like these are things that like we you know, people are calling people. Are, you know, <laughs> so here we are. It's like, oh my God. Yeah. So it's just like surviving, um, you know, asking for grace when and where appropriate. You yeah. know, I'll be telling, like, I actually will probably email them tomorrow and be like, hey, you're going to have something on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Um, it's going to be as pretty as I can get it. There will be constant <laughs> tweaks. You'll be getting more, like, you know, mm -hmm. more the next week. And then it'll be, you know, basically over three weeks. Right. And, you know, this is why I did that super cheap, like, exclusive right. presale. And I didn't post too much about it because I didn't want a ton of people to sign up. I wanted right. it to be a close group who can try it hopefully love it i can make tweaks before right. the like everyone mm -hmm. buy it you know launch right um and yeah i'm yep. i'm excited and i love that like the ideas keep flowing mm -hmm. it, it's a good problem to have i guess um yeah. i was talking to uh you know my virtual assistant i don't know if she wants to be named or not so i'll <laughs> i'll ask before i mm -hmm. send before i say a name send but i was masses. talking to her and she's like, you know, um, about how I can't stop coming up with ideas. Right. As soon as I talk about it with someone, I we then think of like, oh, there's something else. Oh, what about this? Or what mm -hmm. if you add lights to this? Or what if you add LED strips to that? Um, and, you know, making it so that there's a tier that like you buy this tier, mm -hmm. you get all of whatever my rabbit yeah. hole right. that I go down, you get all that for this price. If right. you buy this one, this one will get you most of it. This one's going to get you like whatever I add to it. Like you mm -hmm. get it. I saw it actually. And it's funny because I didn't think about it because it was so different. There's a girl I follow that I get a lot of like the recipes from. Mm hmm she has a digital recipe book that's like a hundred dollars i think mm -hmm. but she you pay a hundred dollars once mm, and, and she adds recipes adds. all the time yeah and so it's like you paid a hundred dollars and you get all of those recipes mm -hmm. and you get all the ones that she's going to come out with in the future right. like it's like lifetime yeah. recipes is basically what you're paying for um so i think that's what this will probably end up being because lifetime i'm of led <laughs> Recipes. Right. With no soldering. Key key part there. Key part. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's it. There's gonna be yeah. a lot of lack of sleep. My head mm -hmm. hurts. I spiraled big time last night and just the, you know, mom guilt, wife guilt, life business guilt. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like my my brain doesn't function like the a lot of other people's. And so I'm constantly fighting it to do the littlest normal things, people stuff. normal people stuff. And so then doing normal people stuff and then owning a business, like unlike a lot of normal people, it just adds these extra, you know, mm. levels of, of difficulty while <clears throat> also, you know, having goals mm -hmm. and wanting to do great yep. things. And it's this like personal journey trying to eat better trying to lose weight trying to go to bed earlier going to bed earlier not is, this week. is not happening this week um but we are doing better i will say we're not staying um we aren't as bad as we were we could definitely no. do a lot better right um but this week isn't gonna count it, it doesn't count and well and it doesn't count in that we aren't excuse me we aren't staying up, sitting on the couch, watching dumb right. shit, scrolling, right, yeah. like whatever. Yes. Yeah. We may scroll a little bit longer than we should 30 minutes after we go to the room, mm -hmm. but most of this is work. Yeah. And I don't want to keep it this way. This is temporary because the horse is coming out. Like kind of like today, I worked literally up until. I totally thought I heard the horse is coming out. And I'm like, what horse? I've never heard that saying before. <laughs> And then I'm like, oh, course, the course the, is coming out. The course. The horse is coming uh, the out. The horse is coming out. But like, I worked up until dinner, and I, I always, no matter what, at least at the very least, break for dinner. Mm -hmm. And so I broke, you know, for dinner, and then had dinner, and then I waited a little bit, and then I went back in there to, you know, I had the the meeting, and then it was the podcast. But you know, then I then I took another break to you know put jackson down 
Because mm-hmm. now every day for some reason is mommy's turn, and I'm no, not. It's mommy's churn. Mommy's mommy's churn. Mommy's churn. So I'm not fighting that too hard. Mm-hmm. I love the nights when he wants you instead because I get off a little easily, uh, a little easy. But um, yeah, and then promised Jr. You know he was able to come interrupt mm-hmm. the meeting right. um, to give me you know kiss good night and stuff. And then tomorrow I promise that you know I'll sit there and cuddle with him mm-hmm. um, before bed. So it's just finding that balance and knowing that like not every day is going to be like this, right. but it's okay for the days where. We yeah. really need to push and get something done, and we're on like a tight time crunch. Right. Yeah. Um, but knowing that, like that, I don't, I don't want to be that parent who's like, oh, she just showed up for dinner, and now she's going, and then mm-hmm. like I'm having to beg right. and schedule like cuddle yeah. time. Like, no, I want there to be cuddle time. You know, anytime you want cuddle time. Right. Um, because yeah. at any day he could stop asking for oh, it. Oh no, it's going. It's it's coming. Mm-hmm. It's coming. So. Yep. Yeah, so. we're just surviving over here. Send That's us it. some yeah. some coffee, um, yeah. some naps, some. I ain't got time for that. Oh, peace, my head. So. Well, with that, it's been another great episode <laughs> of the Rally Black Project. <laughs> with with Crystal, Crystal and John. John. Bye. Maybe we're all done. <laughs>